So let's just go right into settings. Under settings, you guys should go into general. So before we even do that, up here, you guys will see your name. Under there, you guys will see iCloud. So I recommend making an update using iCloud. If your iCloud's full, like mine always is at the five gig for free, then hook it up to your computer and use iTunes. Then you guys can back it up there on your computer, again, using iTunes. And there you have no cap of those annoying five gigs. All right, so once you guys do that, and that's just in case something goes wrong. Let's just go right into general. And your second option, you guys will see software update. Under software update, this should come up. So some of you might just see install and not a download option. And that's because you already automatically downloaded it for you. And now you guys have just have to press install. If you guys press on download and install, it's going to ask you for your passcode if you guys have one. Once you guys do that, it's going to download the update, and then it's going to install. So it's very important that during the download process, it stays turned on. However, it's no big deal if your iPhone runs out of battery, for example, if you have an iPad of touch, same deal, out of battery when you guys are actually installing the update. And that's because there could be a major crash there if it just turns off. So make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. If you guys don't have 50% of your battery, charge it up for a second. Even if you guys have 100% of your battery, like me, I still have it hooked up to some electricity just in case. And that's because I don't want anything to go wrong. I've seen way too many cases of this going wrong and the guys have to restore. It's not a huge deal if you guys have to restore. Um, restoring, you guys can restore exactly from the backup that you guys just made using iTunes or your iCloud. Okay, and then you guys won't have a problem. You guys won't lose any apps or any messages or anything like that. You might have to put in your passwords for your email, for example, again, and all that stuff. But other than that, you guys won't lose any other information as long as you have it all backed up. Again, you guys can use iCloud for that or iTunes. I'm using iTunes constantly because iCloud just does not work anymore. It gets full way too fast. It makes no sense. Anyways, that's it for this video. Right now, um, in a few seconds, we're going to see that this restarts. So you guys will see a black screen, um, white screen, loading logo. You guys, not Apple logo, I mean, a loading bar. After the loading bar goes, it's just going to restart. And there you guys go. Your update's done. No big deal. No app IDs again or anything like that. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.